Hello and thanks for watching. I'm Farhad Setra and I'm an immigration attorney in Akron and Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. I'm going to talk about a few aspects of President Obama's executive action on this video segment. I've talked about DACA and Super DACA on another video. Please watch my videos which are on my YouTube channel. Also, you can find information on my website at www dot immigration hyphen america dot com. In this installment, I'm going to talk about the other aspects of President Obama's executive action. President Obama op outlined a very broad executive action on November 20th, 2014. In that, he spoke in addition to DACA and Super DACA about aspects of immigration which Congress has not tried to address in the last six years of his presidency. These include the following items. Number one, allowing applicants for U.S. citizenship to pay for their application fee by credit card. In the past, applications for citizenship could not be paid for by credit card. This posed a huge hurdle to individuals who desired U.S. citizenship but could not afford to come up and collect the entire $675 filing fee at one time. This is going to change. The second aspect he spoke about was the increase in the number of visas for immigrants by using as many of the unused immigrant visa numbers that were available for the particular fiscal year. This is indeed good news for individuals who are facing many years of backlogs under the current prior priority date scheme. A third aspect that will be improved under President Obama's executive action is a very, very interesting and exciting aspect indeed. That is allowing individuals who show entrepreneurship or self-employment ability to petition to remain in the United States while they process their dream. Indeed, starting up a new business or creating U.S. jobs are vital drivers of the U.S. economy and President Obama wants to encourage that. Details about these programs are going to be on my website www.immigration-america.com. Let's talk about a couple other aspects that President Obama has also included in his executive action. These include ability of students to remain longer in the United States after their, gradu after their graduation, especially if they've graduated with a STEM degree, which is science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. And lastly, President Obama talked about a very useful tool indeed, especially for H-4 spouses, that is spouses of H-1Bs. Currently, spouses of H-4s cannot work in the USA. Under the executive action, President Obama has instructed the Department of Homeland Security to enact regulations that will allow spouses of legally present H-1B visa holders to work in the United States. This is a great boon, not only for immigrants, but also for the U.S. in general, because it allows H-4 spouses to work, it encourages job creation, and it encourages the applications for U.S. citizenship. So overall, it's a great boon for immigrants. Stay tuned for more details. And as I said earlier, please look at my website, www.immigration-america, for further details as these become due. Thanks for watching and remember, this is only general immigration information. It is not intended to be specific advice about your specific case. So please consult a qualified immigration attorney for details about your case in particular. Thanks again for watching.